Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, January 19th, 2018. Uh, we had a pretty decent day here today. A lot of sunshine, you can see the clouds. There's no clouds, I was gonna say you can see the clouds, but there's no clouds in the sky. Uh, pretty good sun. Um, and I'm gonna show you, there's Mr. Buddy. Buddy's saying hello. I'm gonna go inside. All right, hold on. I have to be a doorman for a second. Okay, so um, I'll show you this real quick before we get into our topic for today. So it's low 30s today, uh, much nicer, not a lot of wind, and you can see these panels are now cleared off. Okay, so a lot of it melted, uh, a lot of it I came out and got the sides cleaned off, and so now that is squared away, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I knew we just needed... Uh, a decent day weather-wise to get that done and so that was today so anyway want to talk about looming government shutdown uh, the government is set to shut down today at midnight and what does that mean uh, how many times has the government shut down before what does it affect and all that type of stuff okay so I got my list of stuff here that I wanted to share with you okay um, the government has shut down 18 times since 1976 um, half of those were over a weekend and imagine that here we are Friday going into a Saturday and it shuts down at midnight So again another weekend um, So anyway, uh, the last shutdown that we had was in 2013 Okay, and that one lasted for 16 days and it real realistically cost the country 24 billion dollars in lost economic activity. So let's think about that for a second. That's a lot of money um, you know that is you know because of the government shutdown um it basically you know it's um it wastes more money in than you know that it's costing money so what is the big delay this time okay the big the big problem is the democrats are, don't like the the spending thing and they're basically holding everything up over daca now what is daca daca is the deferred um action for childhood arrivals those are illegal aliens that uh, brought their kids here basically their kids were raised here in the united states but they're illegal aliens okay so that's the whole big thing they want that program extended that um obama had put in for them so that's that's the big hold up with the democrats okay um in order to this the uh house has already passed the uh, the bill for the expending thing but they're not sure if they're going to be able to get it they need 10 Democrats to come over in the House. You need 60 votes in the House. And you got McCain's not going to be there to vote because he's recovering or dying, if you will, of the whole brain cancer thing in Arizona. So uh, they need 10 votes to jump over, Democratic votes to jump over. So they're probably not going to get that to pass, okay? Um, so they want, like I said, they want the the Childhood Protective Act there, the DACA, um, extended. That's one of the big things for the Democrats, okay? So, um, anyway, you have, uh, right now, we have been going on what it's basically called, I'm just trying to think here, I'm looking at what my notes. We are in a, a CR, okay, which is a continuing resolution. So it's a temporary funding of the government. We have been on that since October 1st, and uh, that was set to end as of um and it's they've had two continuations since october 1st and um so that's what they're trying to do is, is do another cr which is a continuing uh resolution to keep the government going until they can come to some kind of a resolution with the the everything and pass a budget okay and um so anyway with with that being said it's going to be it's set to, it's set to shut down like i said at midnight tonight okay so who does it affect and who does it not affect okay well so basically if you are getting your social security you're still going to get your social security if you are um, receiving benefits from um, you know um, medicaid and you're uh, you're still going to get those as well okay if you're getting food stamps you're still going to be able to get your food stamps the post office is still going to be working. Uh, the TSA agents are still going to be working. The air traffic controllers are still going to be working. Uh, all your military people are still going to be working, okay? So it's not like they're going to send those people home. What they're going to do is they're going to send home non-essential, they call them non-essential um, staff, 
servicing people. So who does who is that? So what you're looking at um, in 2013 when they did it, that affected 850,000 people. So the people that are going to be affected by that is um, let me just see what we got here. You're looking at your parks, your museums, um, you know those type of people. Those are your non-essential government workers, and they will just send them home. Now, the military people and stuff like that, their pay could be delayed, and so that's obviously a problem. And uh, let me just look at something here. Uh, let's see. So you're looking at delays in, uh, you know, your VA benefits, your unemployment benefits, the farm subsidies, and also your tax returns. Imagine that, that that might be affected as well. So those are things that definitely can be affected by the delay, you know, or if there is a shutdown in the government. So, you know, it's, it's definitely something that, uh, it's not a good thing to have a government shutdown. Like I said, the, the shutdown in 2013, you know, cost them 23, the country, $23 billion in lost economic revenue. And uh, just, you know, that's that's not a good thing. You know, people need to be having their jobs. They need to be able to go to work and make their money to take care of their families and pay their bills and stuff like that. I mean, so it's definitely, you know, I, in my opinion, the government shutdown is very counterproductive because, you know, these people can't agree on things. And, you know, uh, the Democrats, like I said, have dug their heels in about the whole DACA thing. And to a point, I get it. But to, my other, to me, my point is this. If these people came across here illegally, and I don't care what country they're from. It, it's not a matter because they're Mexicans or, you know, and that's like the focus for a lot of people. It's the Mexicans. It's the Mexicans. Well, there's a lot of people that come in here illegally and they bring their children with them. Well, you know, that's, you know, there is a, a way for people to get into this country legally. And if they did it that way, they wouldn't have to worry about those type of things. So I get where, why should we continue to support people that came across here illegally? I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me, but that's just my opinion on that. And regardless of what country, be it Canada uh, or whoever, whatever country, if they come over here illegally, um, you know, they should have to be sent back. Sorry. It's just, you know, but, you know, the Democrats are doing, you know, their thing and they're, you know, whatever. I mean, it just, it, it is what it is. But uh, so there's the delay in that and hopefully they can get things straightened out and there won't be a the shutdown as of midnight hopefully they can can do another continuing resolution and keep the government going until they can figure out what they want to do um, i know that chuck schumer the minority leader met with um the president today president trump and they're trying to work things out it's all games it's all grandstanding it's showing look at we're helping this and we're doing this and it's all games in in my opinion okay i definitely want your feedback on this what do you guys think of the impending government shutdown as of midnight tonight and uh you know how do you feel that it affects the country how do you feel it affects people and is it you know something that is worthwhile you know um the delays and what they're you know trying to force through you know what i mean everybody has their agenda of course but is that the agenda of the american people that's what i wonder so anyway um i definitely want your guys feedback on that i want to hear what you want to you know have to say and uh so i definitely want to hear you know your comments on that so tell me what you guys think and uh we've had some snow melting today it doesn't really look like it here but it definitely has been melting which is good we're looking at 40s over the weekend so I'm looking forward to nicer weather at last. <laughs> Get rid of some of this snow, which will be really nice. So we'll see what happens over the weekend here. But uh, anyway, guys, listen. So it's Friday. Going into the weekend, I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, you know, be safe this weekend. If you're out there driving, be safe. And uh, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever goals you're trying to, you know, work on, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. That's the only one that can stop you. So if, you know, you have, if you don't have hopes and dreams, what do you have? So work on those dreams. Make your life happen. Make what your dreams and what you want to have happen. Work at it. Make it happen. 
and you can do it. And like I said, the only one that's going to stop you is yourself. Don't listen to negative people because they're not worth the time of day. Okay? So anyway, guys, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope everybody has a good day. Um, so I have, you'll see, the, you saw the other vehicle here. My mom's up for the weekend. So uh, I'll have her on video with me tomorrow. Okay? I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.